Elizabeth's negotiating skills leave a lot to be desired photo BBC Joseph Valente 19 hours Thursday November 2, 2017 Joseph Valente, who won The Apprentice in 2015, gives his view on the new crop of business hopefuls as they rampage around London looking for Lord Sugar's birthday gifts, £30 for a second-hand scarf week 5 brought the dreaded shopping task. But even with Team Graphene still fighting each other and not fighting for the win, Team Vitality were once again summoned to the boardroom. I remember my shopping task well. It was week three, we had to cross-channel discount buy, and it was my first challenge as project manager. We smashed our way to victory with a win of just over £300. Unfortunately, things didnt go as happily for some of the candidates here. The good James this week really stepped up and showed his talents. He managed to create relationships with customers and also negotiated his way to quite a few bargains apart from that Spurs scarf. James is beginning to prove himself photo BBC Sarah again shown, although her team didnt when she was focused and her negotiation skills were on point, I can still see her walking towards that final, along with Jade who again excelled with this being a sales negotiation task. Bushra managed to take control of being sub-team leader this week and also put Elizabeth in her place. It takes a strong woman to deal with and overcome arguments without being forced into the argument yourself. Using her initiative Michaela walked away with the dough skin sample for free, and proved that her negotiation skills are not to be messed with. I still am swaying towards an all-female final. The bad Sajin as the PM for Vitality could have potentially been fired this week if Lord Sugar WASNT in such a good mood. He did and he set out a proper strategy from the start, he took his team to the outskirts for cheaper prices, and ended up in Hampstead looking for a cake. Sajin's quest for cake was rather shambolic photo BBC talking of cake this week, Ross blew out his candles but did and he get his wish. He was the latest candidate to hear those dreaded words your fired Harrison was also taken into the boardroom. As sub-team leader he should have been thinking about location, logistics and strategy. Instead he let all these fly out the window. There is no questioning his negotiation skills, but he needs the total package to become Lord Sugar's business partner. I watch through my fingers week in week out when it comes to Elizabeth. Her negotiations over 50p, her arguments with the other female candidates, and the way she dealt with the building wholesalers. She provides lots of issues with very little solutions. Anissa WASNT really to be seen this week. She seems to be walking through these wins off the back of her team doing most of the hard work, and needs to get back in the game. Needs improvement I'm not sure what Charles was thinking taking his team into a Turkish shop looking for Jewish goods. He did however bring a lot of knowledge to the table at the start. He really needs to step up and speak out a lot more. Joanna may have cried tears of joy, but she can't really take much credit photo BBC although Team Graphene won this task I don't feel that credit can be given to Joanna. Before the task had even began she managed to get herself into an argument with her team members. She said she would be doing the negotiating but the IDNT seemed to really get anywhere. She did, however, make the right call on taking the late fine and not the fines for missing items. I think if she stopped the petty squabbling and focused on the task in hand she would do a lot better in this process. Sir Jane Mank to get a slight discount on the aerial, but she could have pushed harder. As a clothing company owner, I thought she would have negotiations in the bag. This definitely WASNT her task. The Apprentice Candidates reviewed by a former winner, Week 4 The Apprentice Candidates reviewed by a former winner, Week 3 The Apprentice Candidates reviewed by a former winner, Week 2 The Apprentice Candidates reviewed by a former winner, Week 1 19 of the most outrageous apprentice quotes in news https.co.uk